artifacts of Mars. And Governor Andrew M. Cuomo, otherwise known as Governor Headcase, uh, locally here, has decided that he wants to ban all non-essential state travel to three different states because he doesn't like the laws that they're passing. We'll start with Mississippi. This guy, this guy is a whack job, a nutcase, and I call upon him to resign immediately, which of course he won't. Governor Andrew M. Cuomo today signed an executive order banning all non-essential state travel to Mississippi. We'll start with Mississippi. I got Indiana and uh, North Carolina to go. Order requires all New York state agencies, departments, boards, and commissions to immediately review all requests for state-funded or state-sponsored travel to the state of Mississippi, barring such publicly funded travel that is non-essential to enforcement of state laws on public health and safety. The ban takes effect immediately, follows Mississippi's enactment of a discriminatory law that allows businesses and nonprofit groups to refuse service people based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. They, what uh, they want to do is they want to make it so people don't feel comfortable uh, selling a wedding cake, for instance, to a so-called same-sex couple, they don't have to do it. So that is a lie. It's not discrimination at all. They're, we're talking about religious preferences, and people just don't want to do this. I'd say let them take the heat. I mean, you don't want to sell it to them? Fine. <laughs> you don't get the sale. Somebody else gets the sale. That's the way I look at it. Discrimination is not a New York value. Yeah, you dirtbag, but, uh, excuse me, how is it you can sit there and try to dictate to all the states? We believe our diversity is our greatest strength, and we will continue to reject politics, division, and exclusion, says Governor Cuomo. Mississippi law is a sad, hateful injustice against the LGBT community, and I will not allow any non-essential official travel to that state until it is repealed. It's none of your business, you dirtbag. Now, I'm going to explain something to you. This is not going to be limited to state travel. If this stuff is allowed to go on, pretty soon, if you, let's say you live in New York, you might go to Mississippi, they're going to ban you from going there. You think they won't try it? I got news for you. Last month, Governor Cuomo also banned non-essential travel in North Carolina following state's reenactment of a law which bars transgender individuals from using restrooms appropriate for their gender identities, excludes sexual orientation and gender from identity from state anti-discrimination protections, and prohibits municipalities from extending those protections to LGBT citizens. In 2015, Governor Cuomo banned non-essential travel to the state of Indiana after the United States legislature passed the controversial religious freedom measure that did not prohibit discrimination against LGBT citizens. So here we have a dictatorial style governor who should resign immediately. I call upon him to resign in disgrace immediately. And he's trying to dictate to all these other states what kind of laws that they can have. Now, we'll take a look, quick look at the uh, other ones. The other sites. Just for, uh, 
just document them. Governor Andrew Cuomo banned all non-essential state travel in Mississippi following Mississippi's reenactment of a law that many view as discriminating gays, lesbians, and transgendered. It's all non-essential travel to Mississippi. Allows, uh, Mississippi's laws, law allows businesses and nonprofits to refuse service people based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. That is a lie. Uh, this is about, you know, there are Christians and probably others too who just don't want to deal with a wedding cake going to a so-called same-sex couple. It could be anything, a wedding cake, it could be this, you know, catering, dinner, whatever. And they find it offensive. So that is a lie. Uh, this uh, dictatorial head case, known as Governor Cuomo, wants to uh, do this type of thing. So I'll take a look at the third link before we go. It's like I said, folks. First, I'll start by banning the uh, state travel. But if you think you're going to not be... If you think you're not going to be told that you can can't go there, I got news for you. You will be. Give them time. It's not there yet. All right, Kumo bans non-essential state travel to North Carolina. This is the bathroom law here. This is one where basically they said, okay, if you're a boy, you're going in the boy's room. You're a girl, you're going in the girl's room. You're born a boy, you're going in the boy's room. No matter what. If you're born a girl, you're going in the girl's room. <laughs> Simple. Correct. I applaud. I absolutely applaud North Carolina on that. But of course, Governor Cuomo, otherwise known as Governor Headcase, wants to make it so they can't do that. Uh, this is going to spread, folks, and you are going to be prohibited. Before you know it, you're not going to be able to travel hardly anywhere. Because I guarantee you, Governor Cuomo and the legislature will try to ban you from going there. Not just the state employees. I mean, if you uh, want to go to North Carolina, for instance, for... Uh, who knows, wedding or whatever, they're going to say, excuse me, can't go there, we don't like the laws there. This is getting out of hand. Somebody's got to put a uh, lid on this. Somebody's got to impeach Kumo. He, that guy is a maniac. He's a total, utter maniac. He must be removed from office. I call upon him to resign immediately. This is getting out of hand. This is disgusting. I'm not even a Christian, folks. Uh, technically, I'm an agnostic. I think if the Christian Christian folk were to actually read their own Bible, um, read it word for word what it says, they'd come up with a totally different perspective. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Oh, this has been a day from the mental disorder of liberalism.